water, 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 water. Much better. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now let's get back to our bubbly happy mode. Okay, like usual, if you haven't seen the last video, I'll leave the link down below. It was about mental exhaustion and nervous exhaustion and anxiety. It was kind of a heavy video for me to make because I spoke about a lot of personal stuff that happened to me, but hopefully um, some of you might relate to that and stop being ashamed to talk about that and to admit you have a problem and get treatment and get help because that really is important to get better and to be healthier and some of you already reached me about that uh, video in particular uh, saying thank you for sharing my story with you guys and that you relate to that and that makes me well not happy because I'm not happy to know that some people um, live the same kind of problems but happy because you are saying without any shame that you have or had a problem so that's good that's positive now let's go back to our video yay so today we have again primor helping me being happy and this because this time uh, this haul is going to be skincare related why i love face masks and i usually buy because i normally do this like once per week on my spa day because it's something i can just slap on my face and read the book watch a movie for a little bit or an episode of a series that's a little bit shorter and then my skin gets better i do have dry skin now my skin is way way better than it was a uh, an year ago something like that before i started my long long skincare routines and face masks really help me and i do like to try new ones uh garnier released a couple of skin masks uh three i think and i've been dying to try them out but every time i went to buy them i was like oops my budget went poof or i got home and damn it i've completely forgot to get face masks and on my last order from Primor I did get uh, three face masks from Ziaja but I didn't read carefully and they weren't sheet masks and I do love sheet masks even though I sometimes like just to slap a gel on my face and go do my stuff and just fold some laundry or something with sheet masks I can't do that but I do get bored trying to remove all that because it gets kind of tiring, it takes a bit to remove and so that's why I love sheet masks. But I went to Sephora to get Tony Moly's uh, masks but they are kind of expensive on Sephora and when I got to the drugstore to get the Garnier ones I realized they were more expensive so I went to see how much they cost on Primor and here they are so it's not all face masks uh, this time but it's mostly that but I did need to get a couple other stuff so let's see okay first one moisturizer uh -huh. because my daily moisturizer is going poop so I need to go get a new one and I decided to try the Derme V10 this time I've been trying a few because I couldn't find the one I got last time on the website and I was too lazy so I got this one um, I still have it but it's almost over so yay because when I travel I don't usually take my night uh, cream with me so I just use the one I use during the day because basically that's all the same but the one I use at night it's more thick it's consistency and I don't, don't like to use it during the day because uh, the makeup doesn't sit that well so I like a lighter cream during the day but a heavier heavier one during the night so mm, 
think smells really good. Okay. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I just hope it doesn't break me out or anything. This reminds me the Essence moisturizers they had. I was really sad because I love Essence moisturizers, but I haven't been able to find them. Not even on Primor, which makes me a little bit sad. I really like them. Next, we have... Yeah, this strip crystal. I, this is to remove face hair. Um, I usually use the ones from Vit, but I decided to try this out because why not? Um, let's see, they're pink. So I just hope this does something to my face because I don't have that much facial hair here and my eyebrows I usually do with tweezers but I sometimes wonder why it's so hard to remove these tiny little hairs with something, something. So, it was the only one who worked for me, so I'm trying this one now. Um, now from Beauty Formulas, I've been really liking this brand. I already have a couple of products. Uh, and now I decided to bring the clay mask with charcoal. Uh, I did use a clay mask by Tony Moly. But from the egg pour set, but that went poof along with the other egg. Yeah, it's drying. So let's see how this applied to cleanse dry skin, apply it to face and neck, avoiding the eye area and lip area for about 10 15 minutes and rinse. Okay, so like a clay mask. Uh, I do hope this works. I've been missing a lot my clay mask from Tony Moly, but it's kind of expensive and so I decided to try, well, it's expensive, but it lasts a long while because I just do this once a week on my spa day. Um, and, but I'll see if this works. If it doesn't, I'll definitely go back to Tony Moly because I do love Tony Moly and Korean skincare because there's nothing better. However, I do need to find some more affordable options because Korean skincare is too expensive here in Portugal. Now, from Ziaja, I also love this brand. This is the Natural Olive Lip Balm Nourishing. Uh, I do have a problem with my lips and I have to ex started exfoliating them because I always had those little skin uh, thingies popping out. And I do wear Vaseline uh, at night. But during the day, sometimes it's not really a good option. So this is the tube. And let's see. Oh, it's really thick. Oh, so good. Oh, it smells so good. I think I'm going to love this. I'm going to try it at night after exfoliating. And yes, I have to do that almost every single night, especially now. Because during the winter I have problem with uh, cold, but during the summer I have problems with too warmth, too much warmth or something. My body is just never happy with the weather. So. And I drink a lot of water. I drink one, of, one and a half liter per day, so I do get my water checked. But, well, so now to the fun part! I have here three brands of face masks. Oh, wait, I still have my gift. It's an MUA loose uh, high dust. It's in the shade 5. I do have the shade 6 already, and I kind of liked it. It seems like a copperish color. I want to say it because I love copper. Yeah, it's a brownish... How can I do this? Whoa, scary. My neighbor sometimes gets weird. So it's this color here. 
shimmery, it's a brownish, not really copperish, but whatever, I'm going to try it out, <laughs> because makeup. So this is the only makeup item, so it's a gift from them, uh, because they always bring a gift when I, when we order something. Now, face masks. So the first one I got is this Revox Night Revolution. This is for my wrinkles and it's a, a two-step uh, mask. Uh, we have the mask here and then the step two is a special uh, kind of a sleeping pack. It's a step two. It's to apply after the mask uh, is taken out. So I've been really liking Revox. I have a couple of products from them and I really think it's a really good brand and it's really really affordable and these masks didn't cost... Let's see. I know the entire order didn't uh, get to 20 euros because I had a discount so I think it was 1 euro, this is the less expensive one I think this is 1 euro, yeah one euro and then the well the others were either 150 or 199 each so yes it's expensive because I can get a moisturizer cream for that price however this doesn't do the same as a moisturizer cream it does more so and I do use this like once per week so I'm going to have like for a long, long while. So, this is the first thing I'm going to try. I haven't tried any of these face masks and I haven't got them on my drugstore or Sephora next to me because the prices really are different. For example, um, these are the Garnier ones. I got one of each. This is the Hydro Bomb masks uh, from their Skin Active um, range. This is for dehydrated skins. It's with pomegranate, I think. Um, this one, I don't know what it is, but is for mixed to oily skin. But so it's good for me as well because I do have mixed skin. I have like lots of oily areas and lots of dry areas. And I know the oily areas are actually a problem of being dehydrated, my skin. I don't have like oily oily, but it's because the skin is so dehydrated that it actually gets acne, so yeah. And this is for dry and sensible skin. So sensible skin, I'm sensible. At least for the summer, I'm already using sunscreen. So. I'm going to try the three of them and see which one is better for me or if none is good for me. Let's see how it goes. Now to Tony Moly. Tony Moly has a lot of sheet masks and I got one of each because I've been dying to try this out but I didn't want to order them on eBay and each time I went to Sephora I kind of thought why is this so expensive so I think these were 1.99 each or something like that I think it might be 1.99 because no correction these were 1.99 each so these are the more expensive ones, the Garnier, and these were 150 each. And this on Sephora isn't 150. <laughs> Last time I checked. So the first one I got is the Tea Tree Mask Sheet Skin Soothing. It's with Tea Tree. I love having Tea Tree on my products because they're really fresh, they're really soothing. I feel like oh so really good now this is the avocado mask sheet uh, it's for nutrition so it has good vitamins and really cool let's see if it works 
Now the aloe mask. I really, I really love aloe for moisturizing skin and all. So, yay! I use it a lot on my body moisturizer. So yay! This is the rice mask. I don't know if we have this one on Sephora in Sephora here in Portugal. I don't remind seeing this at Sephora, but why not? I do love to eat rice, so uh, the object, the goal of this one is to clear skin and make it brighter. Uh, I'm already white, <laughs> but I still can have a dull skin, so maybe this helps brighten a little bit without highlighter. Yay. So the wine, I do like to drink my glass of red wine, why not put it on my face? But I'm not going to open a bottle and sink my face in it. I'll be happy, but I'll also be drunk. Um, this is for pores. It helps minimizing pores. And I do have a... Pro I mean, I, I, I think I have every single problem your face can have, but I've been managing to get over with it. I can get over my pores. I can just rem well I can remove them but it will be painful because it will mean I have to remove my skin from my face and I do like my face sometimes sometimes I like my face and finally I have broccoli because I mean I do love broccoli I know I'm one of those weird people that like persons person I'm a weird person I like broccoli and I brought I got the sheet mask made of broccoli well it's based on broccoli so this seems fun so I have like a grand total of dun dun dun, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 masks which means that I'll be trying this out for the next couple of months and starting this week already I don't know which one to try out. Maybe the Garnier ones will be the first. Um, I do. Why is the guy who so sells bread already here? Shush. So I've been. I'm going to try this out really, really soon, and I will leave my comments on my blog or somewhere on my social media or even maybe make a video and compare them to the Ziaja masks I got last time and I'll be able to go back to my routine because I haven't done a face mask in three weeks I think and I really love to make to do them especially before conventions and I have even anime coming and I need to I want need and want to have my skin in perfect shape to put like tons of makeup on it it will be a fun weekend yay so i'll see you guys soon don't forget to click the bell down below so you can stay tuned and i'll be having another video really really soon it's already done i just need to edit it and it's about cosplay and how much cosplay costs so tell me uh what do you think about that subject and i'll see you guys soon Bye!